Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to unbox and review the Little Robot Cosmo, the Collector's Edition. The uh, Collector's Edition is uh, liquid metal. It's not uh, white and uh, orange like the uh, standard uh, Cosmo. So we're going to uh, open the box and uh, see what's inside and see what's the, uh, what is the big hype uh, all about regarding this uh, little robot. The uh, box uh, says uh, compatible with, the, uh, with uh, Apple, uh, Android, available on Amazon, uh, big brain, bigger personality, um, almost uh, human uh, here, uh, high tech, not technical, Unite, uniquely yours, always game. And in the box, you have the robot, you have the three cubes, and you have a charger. So let's open the box. Very nice, uh, very nice packaging, by the way. So let's put this over there. And that's our little robot right here. So a few more stickers here all around to uh, to cut okay so i cut the uh, stickers here on the side so now we can remove the box so this is our little robot right here and uh, all you have to do here is uh, remove the clips and move the clips on the side and remove this and push these here like so and these are the two holders so this is our little robot so this is what they call the liquid metal so you can see the color liquid metal it's not white and orange as the base model I like the uh, color uh, scheme here the little red I don't know if you can see that well the red on the side the red accents the company name Anki in the back a little uh, white, probably like a white light LED in the top here. Um, and the charging is very clever. You don't need to plug anything. You just leave the robot on the charging station and you have two contacts here at the, at the bottom. Now let's have a look at what's uh, inside the box. There is a start here package. So you have here a nice uh, nice uh, sticker a quick start guide and the uh, I think this is a warranty here oh no product information okay good and inside the box you have the three cubes again the packaging is very very well done one two three now if you compare the size of the cube just for fun here, I have my Rubik cube. So you can see here the size of those cubes compared to a standard uh, Rubik uh, cube. And there are tabs here to protect the battery. So we'll pull this off in a few minutes. And inside the box, we have more stuff at the bottom. This is the uh, charging station. And like I was saying, there is nothing to plug, it's just a contact station. So let's put this there. And here, compatible with most USB power adapters, okay? And that's not provided. So the USB power block is not provided with the set, but most uh, house household have that now. So this is the little charger. It's quite heavy. It's good actually. It's, uh, I was expecting something very light, but it's, it's heavy. So there is some substance to it and it won't move uh, too much when you put uh, the robot in the uh, charging station. When uh, I saw the, uh, the cubes, the first thing that came to mind is what kind of battery is inside this thing. And I'm, I'm quite sure you can open this thing to change the batteries, obviously. So looking at the manual on the, uh, on the second page right here, they show here how to replace the batteries. 
and it looks like a short round batteries. It's an LR1 or an E90, 1.5 volt, but it's not your standard AA or a AAA. But at least you can change the battery. In the quick user guide, very well uh, laid out, very well done. What's included in the box and what you need, cell phone and a clean um, play area. And what we have to do is install the app, charge the, uh, the robot, and then we can connect. So I'm going to charge the robot now to make sure we have a full charge before I go further. Just a note here I want to make on the, on the packaging. This, way, this is with the plate where the robot was located. And it's well like they explain to you clearly what you need to do here in the back. And it's a very nice piece of plastic. And this was the piece separating the charger and the three cubes. And look at this. It's very, very nicely done. So Enki did an amazing do job in the, in the packaging. I uh, also removed the one tab on the cube and see what happens when you remove a tab. I'm going to do it now. See, it fl the cube flashes to indicate that it's working properly. So I'm going to remove the tab on the third one. And again here, as you can see, it flashes. So everything is working fine. So now I have my three cubes working. And uh, I put the um, little uh, friend robot here on the charger. And I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yes, I think we can see it. The, um, the LED on the top is flashing green. So it means it's fully charged. So that's a good thing because you give this as a gift. You know, kids who are going to unwrap, they want to use it right away. And it is fully charged. So this is perfect. Now if we look at our user guide to see what needs to be done, our robot, robot is fully charged. Now I need to take my phone and I already downloaded the app right here. And I'm going to click on connect. So when you open the app, it gives you two options, connect or buy a Cosmo. So obviously I have one, so I'm going to click on connect sound check so make sure your device sound is turned on and play yep it's working i'll just press play again yeah working so i play so i click on sounds good enter uh your birthday okay so i'm going to do that Okay, so I just entered my uh, birthday and now it says uh, continue. Oh, actually, it plays Cosmo on this charger, so it's already there. So press continue. Please leave Cosmo on this charger during setup. Okay, so connect. Let the Cosmo app make connecting easier. Tap allow when asked for location permission, which is fine with me. And we will never store your location, okay? And I have a notification. So click continue. Hello, uh, Cosmo, to access this device location. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Searching for Cosmo networks. That's one thing. The robot generates its own network, right? You need to connect to Cosmo. So turn Cosmo on by tapping on the button on the front on the top it's on already connect to connect in Wi-Fi settings okay enter password for Cosmo so the password is here on the uh, on the screen there so I'm going to enter the password so as you can see it's a protected um, Wi-Fi network so uh, when you play with it when you enter personal information like your name uh, you know, you, the neighbors cannot see the information. So I'm going to enter the password. Okay, so I entered the password and now it says uh, searching for uh, Cosmo. So my phone is trying to connect and now it says connecting to your Cosmo. It's updating now, so which is cool of course because now the firmware can be updated automatically from the phone. And it says please keep Cosmo, uh, Cosmo on, the, on his uh, charger. You will need to reconnect to Cosmos Wi-Fi after the update completes. Okay, so it's almost done. 
and now it is searching again for the uh, Cosmo network. We'll see uh, how long that takes. Ah, it's moving. You probably saw it here. Pull the tabs <clears throat> on your cube, so I did that already. And now it's connecting, you can see here, it's checking all three cubes that are, they are all green. Cosmo is charging. You are connected to your Cosmo and he is almost ready. He just needs a moment to charge. And you can see the timer, 170 seconds left. So we're just going to wait and it says here, keep him on the charger. So we'll just wait here about uh, three minutes. While well, we're still waiting for about uh, two minutes, uh, just to look at the manual here. So we completed the connection. We completed the uh, enter password for your network. And it says launch the app and enjoy. And the rest is troubleshooting. And then it's a different language. This is German. German. So that's it. We did the whole manual. It's only uh, like uh, five pages. And now we are connected. And we're just waiting for uh, Cosmo here. To, uh, to keep, I guess, uh, charging. As you can see, there are now about uh, 10 seconds left and the LED on the top here is uh, still blinking. So we'll see what happens when the timer reaches uh, zero. Oh, Cosmo is ready. So tap on continue. Create a great play space. Okay, put Cosmo on a clean open table in a well lit room. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll put Cosmo here, move the power supply over there, leave the cubes maybe here in front of him like that, something like this, and click on continue. Cosmo will try to avoid falling, but just but just like a pet, he might need your help. Okay, continue. Start. Watch Cosmo come to life. Okay, let's see. Well, oh, he's waking up. Hello. Hello, Cosmo. How are you? Uh, oh. He's looking around. I think he's looking for the cubes, I think. Yeah, good boy. I'm going to uh, move the camera so that we can see uh, his face. Or actually, maybe I'll move, uh, I'll move Cosmo here so you can see his, uh, his eyes. There you go. So you can see right here. I'll put a bit of shade here. You can see. Yeah, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm your new friend. Okay, now we can see uh, Cosmo. We can see his eyes and he's also making some noise. And we have a new message on, our, on the phone. And it says, Cosmo is a very special robot who needs a caring owner. Follow the instructions carefully and let's begin. Okay, so I'll click, let's begin. So, great. If the cube is too close, it's hard for Cosmo to see. Okay, so they're saying to put the cube in front of Cosmo. So there you go. There is one right here. Too close, not too close. I will try it like this. Oh, I think he's happy now. Okay, well, you missed it, buddy. I know, you missed it. It feels bad. Try again. Oh, you're pushing your cube. Yeah, that's good. So what are we going to do with the cube now? Yeah. Obviously he's happy. He's happy to have cut the cube. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you hear that. It's quite noisy, actually. His uh, speaker is uh, is quite uh, is uh, quite uh, strong. He's uh, looking around here. 
uh, I am in the kitchen so he has a camera in the front and he's looking around the kitchen so I'm going to do a next video I don't want this to be too long so I'm going to do another video with kids see how you know if you give this to a 10 year old kid how is he or she going to uh, interact with the robot I think this will be uh, very uh, interesting to see so um, I'll do a, a separate video now I thought I would uh, show you we got a new message on uh, the cell phone well done so uh, that was the first uh, thing I guess uh, Cosmo uh, picked the cube and then it says Cosmo would like to meet you okay so meet Cosmo enter your name okay so I'm going to enter my name Daniel okay Daniel right here and then continue look at Cosmo straight on and hold still when Cosmo is done he will say your name okay Yes, it's me. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Hello. So I don't know if you got that. If you heard, he did say Daniel. So we're buddy now. Uh, so Cosmo knows your name. Cosmo has learned to recognize your face and may say your name when he sees you. Use me, Cosmo, again to introduce him to more friends, which is a good thing. You can have many kids playing around and he will recognize each kid around the table. So click on continue. Add a person, you can add a new person here, or for now I'll say done. Cosmo has needs. Care for him each day to keep him happy. Okay. When the red bar is low, tap the tune up button to scan Cosmo. Tune up. Okay. Cosmo needs to be tuned up to stay optimized and on the move. Okay, so scan Cosmo. Knee, uh, lift needs calibration okay and treads align so apparently we need calibration of the lift okay so it's calibrating now okay we're good Tune up, as you can see, the tune up has been completed. It's all, all green, so continue. When the blue bar is low, it means Cosmo is hungry. Tap the feed button. Okay, we have to feed the guy. Okay. So I'll keep uh, going here, but you need to grab any cube that is pulsing blue. Uh, I guess one will be pulsing blue. And shake the cube until all lights glow uh, brightly and uh, place the cube where Cosmo can see it so he can feed himself so this is here this one is glowing blue so I shake it I shake it until all lights glow all, all lights are blowing glowing I put the cube in front of Cosmo not sure which orientation yeah I put the cube according to the graphics here with the lights facing up and now our friend is uh, feeding. Well, yeah, <laughs> obviously, he's, uh, he's all well uh, fed now. And we're clicking on done. Oh, and then uh, he needs to play. So tap the play button to request games or tricks. Each day you will fill his yellow bar. He will earn a play token. Token, token, sorry. Okay, so the first game is Spark a Trick. Click on that. So Cosmo is a playful robot and loves doing tricks. Make sure there is a cube he can see and then watch him roll it. Okay, roll. So there is a cube in front of him. Okay, we can use the green one right there. And he's going to roll the cube. wonder if the cube is too far. I'm going to move the cube closer like that. Yeah. 
I think you saw this one here. Yeah, I think you saw the green cube. I think this one was too close when we tried a second time. So now you saw this cube here. Yeah, he's going to roll the cube, I think. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. He's happy, right? He's <laughs> As you could see, he's very happy. So, I don't want this video to be too long. There are a few things to do, like here, for example. It says, you have filled Cosmo's play need. Each day, you will fill his play need. You will learn a play token. So, continue. So, as you can see here, we can do different things. Uh, play need. Cosmo is lucky to have you as an owner. Time to explore together. So, complete. And now we have a few more options here, and Cosmo is going around by himself. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to do a separate video with this, with kids around the table, and see how he uh, behaves. So, thank you guys for watching uh, so far. I may add uh, a comment at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll do it to the end, guys. I could not resist but compare this robot to one that I used to own, a Sony Aibo. In 2004-2005, I had one. I sold it on eBay in 2005. I wish uh, I didn't. And uh, it was an amazing robot, but it was very expensive. I think I paid like $1,000 for mine. It could walk, sit, uh, sleep, give it spa. It had emotions, lots of sensors. I'm just surprised that in 17 years, we haven't seen something equivalent or even better than what Sony did in 1999. So for now we have the Cosmo, which is a great robot. I cannot wait to see a version 2. And I thank you guys again for watching all the way. And I hope to see you soon on my channel. Goodbye.